Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Today we're going to discuss further into differential equations and now look at Newton's law of uh, cooling. And uh, this was uh, done by Isaac Newton a while back. And uh, basically, uh, Newton's law of cooling states that the rate of cooling of an object is proportional to the temperature difference between the object and its surroundings, provided that this difference is not too large. And also, uh, this applies to warming as well. Yes, and not necessarily cooling, so it should be called Newton's Law of uh, Cooling or Warming. Anyways, uh, basically, if we get further into this, if we let uh, capital T of T be the temperature of the object at time T, and this T of S uh, be the temperature of the surroundings, and, and we're going to assume it's constant, then we can formulate Newton's Law as a differential equation because... Yeah, as I went over in my earlier videos, when, whenever you have something proportional to something else, in this case it's the rate of cooling or warming, what we're going to do is, the rate of it is just the derivative, so d, d of uh, t over dt, uh, so basically the rate that temperature changes is equal to uh, a proportionality constant k multiplied by the difference of the, the temperature at time t, minus the uh, surrounding temperature. So that's what this uh, Newton's Law of Cooling states. It's proportional to the uh, temperature difference, and then that is what the rate of cooling. So this is the rate of cooling or warming, and it equals to K times the difference in temperature. And again, where K is just that proportionality constant, or it's where K is equal to, or where K is a constant. And that's what it means when you ever have something proportional to something else. And now we could solve this equation as I've won over my earlier videos because this is just a separable differential equation by the method shown in my earlier videos. Uh, so make sure to watch those. Put those links in the video links below in the description. But an easier method is to first just simply change the variable. So instead of working with a difference, we let y of t equals to this difference, t minus ts like that. And now because uh, this temperature of the surrounding Ts is constant, or we'll, we'll assume it's constant for our case, or for the very simple case, so then what we end up having is this derivative, so when we look at the derivative uh, y prime of t, this equals to, well, this is just a derivative t prime of this one. And again, this capital T is a function of time. So, so, and then the derivative of this constant temperature just goes to zero. So in other words, what we end up having is you write this in this kind of notation, dy over dt, this is just equal to dt over dt, and that is what we have over here. So we could replace this, or, or basically rewrite that differential equation into a, a simpler one, dy over dt, and this just equals to, well, ky, because now this is the dt over uh, tt is the same as dy over dt, and then the, this, the difference becomes well, that's just y, t minus ts. So we have this differential equation, and we've dealt with the exact same one before. And basically, because we've dealt with it in my earlier videos, we could easily solve this for an expression for y, and then from which we could just rearrange and solve for t by plugging in that we know that y is equal to this difference right there. And also recall the solution of this differential equation has been shown in a lot of my earlier videos, and, and, and it's uh, so it's shown to be Basically, if we have three calls for completeness six, if we have dy over dt equals to ky, and we have the, the initial condition, I'll just write this neater, and we have the initial condition y of zero equals to y naught, just write it like that, then the solution is an exponential function, y of t equals to y naught, or initial y, and then this is going to be e to the power of kt. So just recall that that is what the solution is. And then from here, we could obviously just rearrange to get um, to get for the t, the temperature, as opposed to the difference y. Anyways, that's all for today. If you learned from this uh, brief introduction to Newton's Law of Cooling, in the next video, I'll go over an example il illustrating it, which is pretty interesting, just to show how uh, how an object's temperature changes based on its surrounding one. Anyways, that's all for today. If you learned, and like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching. 
and stay tuned for another math easy solution.